Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a question that I often get and that is how do I hook up a light to my snowblower? As you can see the snowblower has a light over here which came with the snowblower. So people are asking me how do I hook up a light to a snowblower that did not come with a light originally? Well here on my bench I have two Tecumseh engines that are apart. One of them, the one over there, actually powers up a light and this one does not have the ability to do that. So I'm going to explain to you why that is. So if you want to hook up a light to your snowblower, you want to make sure that underneath the flywheel there's one of these stators over here, as you can see. This little unit here acts as a generator. It does produce a little bit of current enough to power up a light. And this older Tecumseh here has the points and the coil all underneath the flywheel so there's no room left for a small stator to produce electricity like on this motor over here. So that's why if you have an older Tecumseh engine like this or even some of the Briggs and Stratton engines are the same, you cannot power up a light with a stator located under the flywheel because there's no room for it. Now the reason why you can have a stator on this engine is because the coil or the ignition module is stationed right above outside the flywheel like this. Now here's the flywheel for this engine. There are three magnets glued to it on the inside which goes around the stator to produce the electricity to power up the light. And this flywheel here does have a magnet on the outside as well. So this small part over here is magnetized so it can make the ignition module produce spark for the spark plug. So this is how the flywheel would go on if the shaft was on the engine. And with the flywheel set up like this and with the ignition module on the outside you can create power for your spark plug and your lights. And typically this is the kind of light bulb that would go in a snowblower. It's going to be 12 volts and 27 watts which is fairly low. You want to make sure you put a 27 watt bulb in a snowblower usually because if you don't have the proper bulb they may burn out or they may not light up enough. Now I'm going to talk about the engine with the points. Now the other engine I showed you does not have points in a condenser. That's why there's more room under the flywheel to put the small stator. So basically the whole magneto system here is taking up the room for a stator. As you can see there are no bolting holes for an external ignition module as you saw on this engine over here. This engine here is a lot newer than this engine here. That's why it's got the modifications to it. And the flywheel on this engine only has two small magnets on the inside. It does not have any magnets on the outside to power up an external ignition module. So if you wanted to power up a light on your snowblower just using stock parts, you would not be able to. You would have to modify some kind of system yourself. You can maybe power up a light with a battery, but you would have to find a system to recharge it each time. If your snowblower is capable of powering up a light, I'm going to show you what you have to do to make sure that the light will work. So first of all, you'd have to find the small wire that's connected to the stator underneath the flywheel that comes out of the engine. And it's typically going to have a plug like this. And on this engine, it's right underneath the fuel tank. It's a Tecumseh engine again. So you'd want to follow this wire. So you want to follow it all the way up to the light or install a wire that will go up the handlebars to the light bulb. I'm saying this because you may have a snowblower with that plug or wire but you don't have a light on your blower. So you have to install a wire, bring it up to where the light is, and I've got the blower tipped over to show you a better view. Here's that black wire. It would connect to one of the prongs on the light bulb, and on the other prong of the light bulb, it would be a ground wire. In this case, the green one is a ground wire. It would just basically connect to the metal on your snow blower. Now because a lot of snowblowers have plastic on them, make sure that the metal you ground the ground wire to actually follows right through to the engine. It's the only way that your light's going to work. And by the way, that's what the two little prongs look like inside. Some snowblowers will come with an actual plug and some of them just have two wires with two small terminal connectors on them. I like using these plugs here. They keep out the water and the terminals don't get all rusted and it just connects right in there. These are actually the best plugs for this kind of application. So when I see that the wires are defective on the snowblower, this is what I replace them with. So that's about all the information I can give you for installing a light on your snowblower without making any major modifications. The setup I showed you today is how they come from the factory. 
Now some other snow blowers may be slightly different, but it's going to be the same principle. So to all you guys watching, if you've installed a light on your snow blower and it did not have the stator under the flywheel, please share your comments under this video or better post a video response. Myself and everybody else watching will appreciate it. Thanks for watching and you'll see me next time.